Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to I Enigma, this is Enigma. So let's do your reading between 1 to 7 of uh, September. This is going to be a general reading, so take what resonates and what does not resonate. For more personals, reach out to me on WhatsApp if you have an email. I also do vibrate based spells for your highest good. We have energized, pure and intention charged high vibrational crystals available for you. Check out more on my Instagram and follow my Instagram for every month free predictions which really resonate with a lot of people and follow my Instagram. Do like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, Sun and Sagittarius are dealing with one. Let's see the messages, what's coming out for you for the month. September 1st to 7th. Hmm. All right, let's see. The High Priestess, the World and the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> you have some emotions stuck in you. I feel you're not ready to take a leap of faith for a new beginning. Somewhere you're stuck in between the past and the new. Somewhere some of you were backstabbed. Some of you lost trust in people. Some of you don't like dual faces. So you have a feeling that, oh, every time it happens, I, I end up meeting people with dual faces. You always have this feeling that when will you get rid of uh, a stuck situation fully completely it's just not happening that is why it's bothering you you want to end a cycle from the past that is not ending because of which i feel there's a stress going on you just want to complete the past cycle you want to start a new cycle but it's taking time or every time you try your best it, there's always that is left something from the past in you it's just you're not able to completely declutter or remove so that is bothering you. There's something from the past that's bothering you. I feel like this person was uh, dual-faced. Like you trusted them and then they broke your trust. You ended the cycle, but somewhere the lingering energies still bother you. And I feel like you are taking unnecessary tension because this, this person is not someone that's going to stay in your life forever. But something that has happened with you has you know literally caught up in your head like anything is making you feel like oh i'm feeling burdened oh i'm feeling toxic oh i'm feeling stressed out like you're getting tired quickly you're making less efforts and tired getting tired more quickly okay so that's what i'm seeing basically you don't like to carry the guilt of hurting people that's also one of the reasons why it's very difficult to completely close the chapter or shut the door on someone. That's something that you don't like. So the seven of pentacles is also like you have come a long way, but you still have to go a long way. And that is also like what is going to happen in future, whatever uh, is happening in future is bothering you basically like your uh, concern about future is causing your anxiety worry because you want to be the best you are you're someone that has always been the best and you always want to be more than what you are but because you're too much into the future than the present it is giving you some anxiety some of you not all but some of you is like you're trying to come over something okay something from the past you're trying to come out of it completely it will take time, slow and steady. Yes, you walked away from the situation or this person or the toxic energies around you, but still there is a feeling of dissatisfaction. You're not fully satisfied in the place you are right now. You've completed the cycle from the past. You have finally started a new journey, but there's something from the past that still lingers with you, okay? And weighs you down sometimes emotionally. But the good thing is, you have completed the cycle and you've walked away. Now there is a new beginning coming into your life. This new beginning is extremely exciting and uh, special. All good things are going to happen in, in your life. You will see a lot of special new beginnings, a lot of experiences you will learn that will make you more confident and happier in life. I'm seeing that you have started to believe in your star power. You started to believe in your own potential. You're back in the game now. Slowly you're getting back. Or you have found a path that will that you know that will make you successful. 
some of you dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces, I'm sensing that there is a person that you might meet online through online dating or you guys, when you guys meet, you know, then you guys may chit chat with each other on social media first. It's also I'm seeing a like, lot of communication, a lot of talking between the two of you. Your mental compatibility is on point. Your thought process match, your attributes match, physical attributes somewhere. You both are very, very attractive. You both make a strong, powerful, influential couple. You know that this can happen. And this is someone special that is coming into your life. And for them also the same. You both are basically uh, thinking in the same manner. Okay, they could be from a different religion or a background, but thought process is pretty much the same or different country as well. You both want a new beginning. You both want this commitment. You will realize how comfortable and easygoing this connection is. A lot of peace and harmony comes in. You both are ambitious. You both are in synergy in moving towards what you want to do next in order to become very successful. And that is why this couple, this pair is going to be extremely successful if you guys join together, if you guys align together. I'm seeing a lot of success taking place. I'm seeing a lot of growth and uh, prosperity will take place. There's a short, short relationship happening here. Okay. Ace and Ace twice. Queen of Cups. You guys are literally going to fall in love with this person. I feel like, oh, this person will fall in love with you. You like the way this they talk. Like, they're very practical, logical. And you, on the other hand, are more emotional. You're more of a feminine person. Like, even if you're a male watching this. And this person is more of a masculine person. So, that is why you guys are very good in balancing each other. That is why you feel, like, emotional for them. Love towards them. You will make a lot of efforts for this person. I feel like you both are going to make equal efforts towards this strong commitment to happen. I'm also seeing families coming together. I'm also seeing your families will come to know about this connection. And it will be most probably a marriage in a traditional form. This could be a Taurus coming in a Leo. Your, you know, sad moments are going. Sad moments are leaving your life. And it's time for you to have fun celebrate because happy moments have started new beginnings have started to take place and you're going to be jumping in joy with this new relationship you're in okay i feel like you guys are going to be along going a long way this is a solid connection this is a soulmate bond i feel like one person could be younger and i'm also seeing or another person is more old soul like very nurturing and one person is more childish and i feel they love this energy I'm also seeing you make changes in your appearances. You look way beautiful or handsome than what you were looking today because you're putting all the energy into one alignment, to one focus. All your energy is aligned towards one goal. And I feel this person is also compatible with you. They're in synergy with you. Because of this reason, you'll see that your aura has grown and you've become more... Uh, high vibration or more positive in your life and this can be seen in your personality this can be seen on in the uh, in your face with that glow up so they bring a glow up in your life but there's a fear there's a fear of losing your freedom if it's not you Sagittarius I feel like at one point of time your person will get fear they will be fearful of losing their independence. They have been single for a long period of time and they literally started to enjoy it. Or oh, it's you. But I feel like, yes, it may become a runner and chaser kind of a thing for a short period because this is someone that is literally trying to control themselves and bring them back into reality so that they can think of future here. Because there is a part of them or you that still wants to stay single i feel it's you to be honest three of swords you know why this is happening because you still haven't completely healed from the past or you still have a fear of uh, the other person losing interest in you or the other person cheating on you or getting your heart broken in any which way or you're still heartbroken somewhere you're still working on the healing process so because of these reasons, I feel you may feel like you need some more time before any commitment can take place. 
if it's not you then it's the other person but i'm definitely seeing something from the past is literally not washed away or cleared away one of your systems okay what i'm seeing is you guys are pretty positive when this person comes into your life you will be extremely positive to go forward no matter how many blockages there will be no many no matter how many uh, wounds you have or your healing like which stage you're at you still don't care but i feel like the confidence is going to take you along it will take you forward and i feel like this person is also going to like your positivity because it's like you're more positive than your negative so the negativity could be 10% of positivity is 90% and that 90% is enough to take this connection carefree on a higher level okay so you're definitely there and i feel like this person really likes the positivity and the i'm seeing your communication skills are on point here they're perfect this person really loves communicating with you so there's a lot of communication happening here guys yes so you both will make sure that you both want to get married after some time i feel you will heal from the past and you will completely get into this connection and you guys will be very much ready to take it forward towards marriage not wanting to go back and forth back and forth back and forth no you're done with that you're very happy and i feel this person is also very consistent with you you both will celebrate you both will announce your wedding you both will um uh, get married real soon if you haven't yet but i'm definitely seeing that if there has been any kind of discord between the two of you it will soon come to normal you guys will patch up so the reason why there is any kind of discord is one person still trying to heal from the past the devil you know what this person becomes your obsession and so you for them you guys will become dependent on each other you guys will become crazy obsessed with each other it's going to going to be a strong lust between you guys they will want you nobody else you will want them nobody else it's like you guys are just obsessed with each other there's a strong sexual attraction between the two of you you guys see each other's faces and other people <laughs> so it's like you guys have become so obsessed with each other that you want to be with each other like you can't leave each other's company at all so that's how it, this is uh very very strong i'm seeing there's a possibility of a father figure coming between the two of you if your father disagrees or their father disagrees there's someone that is disagreeing into this connection that is a father figure they could be an aries or a capricorn i feel this person does not want you to you know get married they want to see you single maybe for some reason or the other i don't know but i'm sensing that energy there's a possibility if it's not your father it could be their father someone has a step father maybe that's why but yes there is an energy of someone older male that really wants that the marriage should take place maybe it can delay it can delay so they will try to they're not bad but they'll try that the marriage gets delayed they'll try to delay things for you and that fear that feeling of insecurity will come in inside of you so make sure that if any kind of feeling you're having or that's coming from an older male uh, in your case then you should definitely not lose heart because if you pay attention to such a thing such an advice it will affect you if you don't pay attention it won't affect you so you may get affected with their decision in the end of the day i'm seeing they agreeing i'm seeing both parties agreeing i'm seeing marriage i'm seeing commitment i'm seeing long term maybe you're going to go for a court marriage you may get married without people around you guys will get married in a different country or in a different city or a far away place from your family or their family but in the end of the day i'm seeing expansion i'm seeing marriage i'm seeing happy family i'm seeing families also reuniting i'm seeing the past is trying to come back and congratulate you so everything happening all you know in the right place and fast everything is happening fast super fast four of uh, swords and the nine of pentacles okay the justice you guys i feel like the marriage is going to be lucky charm for you because after this union or marriage or whatever it is that you guys are going to be in 
it will change your vibrations and it will make you feel more lighter and more happier and go happy go lucky kind of a person you will be able to achieve everything that you put your hand on i'm seeing a lot of success coming in this person is lucky for you i'm seeing a lot of growth in your money taking place i'm seeing prosperity coming in i'm seeing a lot of uh, relaxation in your life maybe you haven't rested much you will be able to rest this person will help you in a lot of things it could be a libra someone is a lawyer here or a doctor here or um you may have a boutique or a fashion designer maybe okay house some of you are going to buy a bigger house yes maybe there's an age difference between the two of you there's an older female that you have to be really careful that might be living in your house that really does not want to see you happy that really does not want to give you mental peace so be careful of someone like that maybe that woman's birthday adds up to eight or six all right what else i'm also seeing avoid unnecessary arguments at home ace of cups your life is going to change you'll be the happiest person i'm seeing there's a lot of growth in your personality and appearance you will look a lot more attractive someone from the past is watching and extremely envious of your growth they can see you ending the cycle and moving on in life but they don't want to see you happy they don't want to see you moving on so they will try their best to you know uh cage you in their thoughts so don't allow i feel like yes there will be some confusion but that confusion is ending yes slow and steady wins the race you will be slow and steady in taking one step at a time moving forward any last messages any advice or suggestion nine of wands stop being fearful you have tried a lot and you have haven't found the right kind of person i feel this is giving you some sort of an anxiety or you're trying too hard if you want something don't try too hard you don't need to sagittarius all you need to do is believe in the magic of law of attraction just believe in it because when good things come in your life it will happen unexpectedly not when you're trying too hard so trying too hard will give you anxiety low self confidence a feeling of fear and insecurity okay all right what else this could be the one for sure so there's a very strong possibility that you're about to meet this person now let's see from aries to pisces what does your person think and feel for you and then we're going to move towards the charms here hit like if you like this video and want more of such readings all right the aries person is definitely taking slow steps towards you interested taurus sees as a dream come true wish come true the gemini is too conscious too conscious and bothered and does not like themselves i feel cancer is very attracted a lot of communication leo again a lot of communication uh a new beginning and virgo is obsessively thinking about you can't stop thinking then we have libra libra is trying to work things out but they think that they're not lucky they can't have you i don't know they have a negative uh head space there in that negative head space right now scorpio wants to expand they want to work with you they want to make efforts equal efforts with you sagittarius is very interested in you and they're they're your lucky charm or you're their lucky charm then we have capricorn wants equal give and take they're going to be your partner for life in your work as well aquarius is coming with a marriage proposal probably with a ring and the pisces is anxious i feel they have anxiety issues try to figure that out more okay anxiety about not being good enough so some of you your partner is into business or if you're into business you will be lucky i'm seeing someone is into music business or you guys may meet in a cafe or something or on instagram there's a possibility online meeting someone is on instagram maybe an influencer so maybe that kind of business i'm seeing someone is into entertainment yeah so e and s could be the initials someone's name is esme someone's name is um what else the nas the nasa something like that okay could be anything 
so someone is from england someone is from ethiopia someone is from sweden someone is from spain singapore india anywhere basically guys so this is a read guys for you i hope you've enjoyed this beautiful sensational read and i'm also seeing c so some of you are very intuitive and you're able to see what's coming in your life next so you have seen this person in your dream maybe or you've seen this person already that's the person this reading is for so that's about it i hope you've enjoyed this don't forget to like share subscribe and comment for more such videos i'll see you again bye